Good morning, Dreyfus. I'm Dorian Van Coppenau. And I'm Connor Salemi. Coming up today, we have information on the South Florida Tech Organization for Seniors, as well as information on the LGBTQ plus seminar that occurs tonight. DSOA Today starts now. Enrich their educational experience through the eyes of art. For the visual, performing, communication arts. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Don't miss your chance. Yearbooks are selling quickly. Order your yearbook for $100 from yearbookordercenter.com. Just enter school code 486. Congratulations to the band department for announcing that all 22 students who participated in the virtual state solos and ensemble qualifiers have earned superior ratings and are now moving on to the virtual state assessment. Please congratulate these students if they are in your class. Underclassmen selfie submissions are due today, March 5th. This is for students who were unable to attend in-person photos. Be sure to submit yours to be included in the yearbook. The month of March is Women's History Month. We'll be celebrating their accomplishments by highlighting important women throughout history. And today we start with Billie Jean King, a professional tennis player who paved the way for women in her sport. Billie Jean King is a tennis legend who had a major part in creating equality for women in tennis. She was born on November 22, 1943 in Long Beach, California. When she was in fifth grade, she asked her father what sport she should play to become successful. He said tennis and she was introduced to the sport shortly after. While attending Long Beach Polytechnic High School and then later California State University, she practiced tennis on the free public courts. She had her tennis debut in 1959 and won her first doubles Wimbledon title in 1961. She continued to win both international and U.S. singles titles. In 1972, she won the U.S. Open and began her campaign for equal rights in tennis by threatening to bow out the next year if the women's prize money didn't match the men's. She was successful in this endeavor and helped to found the Women's Tennis Association and the Women's Sports Foundation. In 1973, she accepted a challenge from Bobby Riggs, who is formerly the number one ranked male tennis player. She beat him in straight sets 6-4, 6-3, and 6-3, and earned the winner-take-all prize of $100,000. She received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009 for her role in overcoming gender inequality issues. King passed away in July of 2020. Although she's no longer with us, her legacy lives on as the WTA continues to improve the future of women's tennis. I promised myself I'd fight for equal rights and opportunities for boys and girls, men and women, the rest of my life. Because everyone, everyone got, can do something extraordinary. There will be a virtual LGBTQ plus youth summit held on March 5th through March 7th, every night at 7 o'clock. Youth, allies, and adults will be invited to attend. Registration for 13 through 17 year olds is open now. Set a reminder at bit.ly forward slash 2021 Youth Summit or scan the QR code on screen now. South Florida Tech for Seniors is an organization led by Sam Friedman and some of our very own Dreyfus students. They help seniors navigate their own technology. We now go to Savannah Richards with more. Sam Friedman is the founder of South Florida Tech for Seniors, a nonprofit organization helping senior citizens in South Florida with their technological needs. SFTFS works with student volunteers from schools like Dreyfus, Suncoast, and FAU High, and provides free support to senior citizens. Personally, I was really inspired by my own family. I've always been interested in technology, and I've always kind of been the tech guy in my own family, particularly for my grandparents, and they were really a big inspiration behind finding all these other people who were like them, who needed help from somebody like me, but who didn't have somebody like me to help out. Prior to COVID-19, the organization provided in-person support directly to seniors. SFTFS volunteers have helped seniors with issues ranging from setting up printers to FaceTiming their grandkids to scheduling COVID-19 vaccine appointments online. And one of the big things we've been doing recently is providing information and resources for senior citizens to sign up for their COVID vaccines in Florida so they can get vaccinated to stay safe and healthy. Since the onset of the pandemic, activities have all taken place at a safe distance. Volunteers help seniors over the phone and Zoom, produce videos for YouTube teaching seniors how to use common devices and services, and hold bi-weekly Zoom meetings for their volunteers. 
South Florida Tech for Seniors most recent venture has been helping seniors sign up for COVID-19 vaccines in Florida. The process is complicated and constantly changing. So SFTFS set up a web portal and step-by-step -step video guide to walk senior citizens through the process of signing up. We offer a fantastic volunteer opportunity for students. Uh, we can offer volunteer hours and you can sign up. You can learn more on our Instagram page, which is sftfs.org and you can sign up to volunteer at sftfs.org slash volunteer. As an added bonus, volunteers get the chance to be featured on the SFTFS website and even their fair share of news articles. So far, SFTFS has been featured by the Palm Beach Post, PBS, WPTV, and even the Palm Beach County School District. Savannah Richards, DSOA Today. Thanks, Savannah. Each day, DSOA Today would like to hold a mindful minute a time to refresh, relax, and get ready for the rest of your day. So, get comfortable and enjoy. That's all we have for you today, Dreyfus. I'm Connor Salemi. And I'm Dorian Van Coppenal. Remember, if you have an announcement you would like to send in, please do so using the announcement request Google form shown on screen now. We hope you all have a great weekend, and we will see you next week.